In this video I'll try to shed some light on what uh, crystals are made of. I've always been fascinated by crystals and uh, I have uh, here a collection of these uh, purplish ones except this one which is kind of clear and if you take a closer look at uh, some of these crystals you can see that they seem to be kind of growing out of rock just ordinary rock this is all you see on one side on the exposed side and you chip away and on the inside beautiful crystals and there's the same same for this one you can see the crystals on this side but if I turn it maybe maybe this way there if this is that if this is all that's sticking out from a cliff face you wouldn't know until you uh, chip it away and discover crystals inside so so these crystals seem to be growing out of rock and that's uh, the most basic answer these crystals all crystals are made of rock but uh, there's a little more than that to it so there is many kinds of rocks and one of the rocks one of the rocks is called granite and uh, granite is made up of different minerals and I'm just gonna write mineral here and in this uh, sense of the word I'm not meaning minerals as it is on uh, in uh, in the expression vitamins and minerals on uh, supplements so one of the minerals in uh, granite is called quartz and uh, these here are all made of uh, quartz and uh, these are all quartz crystals here and quartz is uh, made of again simpler things those simpler things are called compounds. Quartz basically is silicon dioxide. That's uh, silicon and that's two oxygens. And these compounds are called compounds because elements, elements compound together, uh, namely in this case the silicon and uh, oxygen. I'm just making it O2 so it's not just a bubble there. So as for the material of the crystals, for example, these crystals are made of silicon dioxide. And uh, the, uh, this probably, this clean one is probably the purest silicon dioxide, which is uh, also quartz, uh, what else is made of quartz or otherwise uh, also known, although it's not technically Super, inc uh, super accurate but sand is also quartz or contains a lot of quartz and you can make glass out of sand so this one is pretty clear here uh, a qu quartz uh, crystal there is some other forms of quartz crystals depending on other elements uh, joining in the uh, quartz crystal because sometimes uh, crystal formation depending on how it's formed according to temperature and pressure inside the uh, earth uh, they can uh, they can have some different other elements with it so uh, these ones are all colored purplish by uh, a little bit of iron uh, tinging in with the uh, silicon dioxide so other minerals that are also quartz crystals are for example onyx and onyx is black. I got here agate, jasper, red. Oopsie, jasper is uh, is red. Is also a quartz crystal. Uh, amethyst. These ones are amethyst. And maybe I'm gonna write up and and why? Chalcedony. These are all quartz crystals. There are other quartz crystals. Quartz can uh, form uh, with other uh, coloring elements. Uh, there is milky quartz, smoky quartz, rose quartz, 
So uh, there is uh, other quartz crystals possible. And uh, if you look at the periodic table of elements, it's a big one, I just folded it in half. Here is silicon, here is oxygen, and uh, here is iron on this side. So that's how amethyst, uh, jasper and agate are made of with uh, iron in them as uh, elements giving it color. So that kind of explains uh, the color of uh, crystals. I'm going to explain the shape of the crystals in a sec really briefly. The crystals, and I wrote, uh, not wrote, drew here a cube, but it's, uh, I, I drew it a little bit lopsided because that's what happens to crystal formation on, on the outside of this rock. Take a look again, it looks crumpled and uh, it's got some crease lines there. And then you can see here this, uh, this color is incrustation because it's in the crust and, and you can see in this hollow inside the rock, there was a bubble inside the rock here and that's where crystals could grow. Depending on temperature and pressure, crystals, crystals can grow small or they can grow visibly bigger. And if you take a closer look at this clear one, you can see that they are of geometric shapes. This one here is a hexagon. One, two, three, four. Uh, corners five and six are there, and it's merging with this hexagon. One, two, three. Let me see. One, two, three, uh, four, five, and six are inside here. And you can see these two hexagons are merged because these crystal geometric shapes are never really perfect enough. That's also why I drew that uh, cube that way. Basically there are seven uh, simple crystal shapes here and the black dots here represent uh, on it, here is cubic, here is uh, FCC face centered cubic, here is BCC body centered cubic, here is a hexagonal shape and uh, what these black dots represent here is the where the atoms sit and they form a connection. Here is another shape that I uh, made up out of kids toy here and uh, you can see uh, if these were the individual atoms uh, then uh, silicon, oxygen, silicon, oxygen you know combine together to make this shape or, or here is this one I uh, didn't even attempt to draw this one it's a uh, way beyond my uh, skills here, but you get the idea. This is uh, pretty involved here. Oops. There. So, the atoms form geometric shapes uh, in, uh, in matter, and uh, the purer it is, the uh, cleaner the shape it is going to appear again depending on temperature and pressure so that's why these crystals are small but they are under a microscope you would see that those are hexagonal crystals just like these are hexagonals but the hexagons are visible on this one and these ones are also hexagonal as well so that explains the shape of the crystals basically uh, given its uh, crystal lattice structure how the atoms just uh, automatically arrange themselves but always always consistently only in that uh, combination there are actually 33 different uh, crystal lattice variations that are possible out of cubes and hexagons and uh, that, so that explains the uh, shape of the crystals and the color again is uh, other elements that are included in the crystals and they are all made of rocks, beautiful rocks.